What's going on everybody? My name is Aiden and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to ask this question a while ago, uh, but I wanted to kind of also wait to the end of the season, which has come true for the Chicago Bulls. So with that being said, the question I want to ask is, is this season a successful season? And if it is a successful season, why? And also, why isn't it? And stuff of that nature. Just take a deeper dive into what I really thought about this season in this video. But before we get any further, if you like the video and you want to see more from me, drop a like, drop a follow, and or subscribe if you are new. And let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls and whether or not you believe this season was a success in some way, form, or fashion. Now, of course, with a question like this, you're going to get varying opinions, varying answers, and some might not even give a conclusive answer. For example, I could obviously say this season was a failure in the sense that we basically left our season exactly where we left it last season. That's in the playing tournament. Of course, on a results-based situation, this season is a failure. And I don't want to really hide the fact that the season was a failure from that department. At the end of the day, the league, the NBA, is a results-based business, just like most other competitive sports in the world. In order to be successful, you need results. We didn't get the results that we were looking for, so in the end, it is considered a failure from that point of view. However, despite the ultimate failure that this season has been, I think there's glimpses of success that we have seen throughout the season. And that is where I want to really take a deeper dive into why I, I enjoyed this season. Put it this way, I enjoyed this season more than last season. I, I know it's hard to say because we're living in the present and I know a lot of Bulls fans are upset at the moment because, you know, it's like the wound that just got cut. Of course, it's going to hurt straight away. But once we take more time to reflect on it, once we take more time to heal the wounds that this season caused the Chicago Bulls fan base, we can start to understand why I thought this season was a little bit more successful. So let's take a deeper dive into that. So a couple of things. Individual stats, individual performances is why I think this was a little bit of a successful season. You're probably going to see Alex Caruso become an all-NBA defender this season. He was the one last season. Give all, all the credit to him in the world. He was definitely one last season. It looks like he's on projection to getting one this season. DeMar DeRozan is a finalist to winning the Clutchest Player of the Year award. You know, that's a pretty big deal. DeMar DeRozan is a very clutch player. He has the reputation of being called the king of the fourth quarter. And that's when he really steps up to play. He's had a lot of great highlights this season. We have been in a lot of clutch games as well. So I can't think of anyone more fitting than DeMar DeRozan. But of course, we'll have to wait and see what the rest of the league thinks at the end of the day. Kobe White is going to be a finalist for the most improved category. If you look at his stats from last season to this season, those numbers have skyrocketed to the top. And AK said it himself, he's not the finished article just yet. And that is something to be very happy about. And hopefully Kobe White can bring an award back individually for the Chicago Bulls. So just by that stature alone... A lot more individual success this season than last season. Now, it's a, it's a shame that that didn't reflect the team success, but that's why a little bit of success that does go the way of the players in this instance. But the biggest reason why I think this season was somewhat successful was the development of the young players. I'm talking about Kobe White, and I'm talking about Ayo Dusumu, and I'm talking about Dale and Terry. I'm even talking about Julian Phillips. Even Batim has come around and really stepped up to the plate in some games as well. The development of our young players, I think, is the biggest reason for success, compared to last year at least. Last year, we got a 40-42 and 42 record. We were the 10th seed, and we walked out of the playing tournament, losing to the Miami Heat. But the difference between that team and this team was that that team was healthy. Outside of Lonzo Ball, that team had DeRozan, that team had Vucevic, that team had Levine, that team had Patrick Williams, that team had a solid bench, including Andre Drummond, Derek Jones Jr., Javante, uh, Javante Green wasn't there. But again, a lot of healthy players just to get eliminated in the same way. This season, we didn't have Zach Levine. He played, what, 17 games this season? We barely had Patrick Williams. We had injuries upon injuries. Julian Phillips ended up getting hurt a little bit later. Still didn't have Lonzo Ball. And we still finished in a pretty decent position. Pretty much the exact same position. Why? 
the development of Kobe White. Kobe White turned into a close, not, not, I'm not saying he's an all-star. He's turned into close to an all-star caliber player. Yes, he's still not the finished article. There's still so much he needs to improve on. Consistency is still a big issue for him. But the fact of the matter is he got there. He really stepped up when we needed him to step up. Patrick Williams, unfortunately, had a season-ending injury pretty much mid in the middle of the season. Who stepped up to the plate? Guys like Dale and Terry. Guys like Tory Craig. You know, guys like Batim. These guys stepped up to the plate to fill the void that Patrick Williams did leave. And even Patrick Williams' development is something that we're going to have to wait and see about. But again, Ayo Desumu, another guy. The shooting guard for the Chicago Bulls. By far, one of the most efficient plays this season when it, came, when it comes towards its end. Was unbelievably efficient. And yes, these guys are not the finished articles. But the fact that we were able to get to this position with no Levine and no Patrick Williams and a lot of other veterans that left the team as well. You know, a lot of the guys that we count on did lead the team last season. Or, and, you know, went to different teams. Derek Jones Jr. with the Mavericks. Obviously, we didn't, bra we didn't bring back Javonte Green. A lot of other guys, even Patrick Beverly, is now on the box. And we're still in a similar position. So I'll take that, ladies and gentlemen. I think that means a lot for the Bulls. It means that our young guys are now starting to be trusted more. It means that the veterans as well that we tried to count on didn't necessarily make the biggest of impact that we thought they, they could. But the most important thing is they didn't need to make that impact. At least to get to the same position, they didn't need that impact. And I guess the question you have to ask now is what would have happened if Zach Levine was here? Would we still be that 10th seed, that 9th seed? Would we still get eliminated in the playing tournament? That's a genuine question we get to ask ourselves now. Because we got to the same place without Zach Levine. With Zach Levine in the squad, would things have been any different? And then you have to give credit to those young guys for really stepping up and having that next man up mentality. And again, whether we go younger, whether we change the team, identity and whatnot... At least you know for sure that young guys like Kobe and Io will be here and will be ready to develop and take the next step each and every single season. And that's why I think this team and this season was somewhat of a success. Now again, in the grand scheme of things, a results-based business trying to win a championship, we failed. That's a failure. That will always be a failure. We can't change the rules. We can't do a Giannis out here and say, look, you know, MJ didn't win... Uh, a championship in nine of those years, all those years' failures. We, we, we can't be sitting here pulling those types of excuses. You know, for the team that we have, I would consider this, especially from our young guys' perspective, somewhat of a success. But in the grand scheme of things of winning that championship or even trying to get close to it, making the playoffs, we failed. Simple as that. And that's something we're going to have to take on the chin and hope next season changes will be made and that we can get to the situation where we're in a more better, comfortable position to compete. But that will be, obviously, a little bit later on. we still got a long time to reflect on that. Time will tell. So that's why I think some of the season was a success. And I still believe this season was better to watch, more enjoyable than last season. I really believe that in my heart. I know it's, you know... Tunnel vision, whatnot. People are still hurt. I still believe this season was more enjoyable to watch than last season. And those are the reasons why. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below. I think my next video, I want to talk about DeMar DeRozan and his extension. There seems to be a lot of interesting things going on around that. Um, so we'll save that for tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like and a follow. And or subscribe if you are new. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for more. Take care. And peace.